hope for Centerville, Ohio. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to the Lord and get right with God. You're going to hell, man. You're going to hell? Yes. You're going to hell. You're going to hell, you wicked devil. Who do you think you are? You don't even know God's word. Get the fuck off. You don't even know God's word. What are you talking about? The Bible says homosexuals won't inherit the kingdom of God. You think it's okay to sodomize your friend? What? You think it's okay to sodomize your friend? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? It means anal sex. Do you not understand what I'm talking Dude. about? Hey, bro. That's what sodomy means. All right, but like... You think that's okay? Yeah, I think it's okay because it's their law. Well, that's why you're going to go to hell. I'm going to go to hell for agreeing with somebody? Yes. It's guilty. Because it's, it's wicked. It's their life. Why do you have to control other people? It is life? their life, but they're going to go to hell for it because God's the judge. No, he because ain't. God's the judge. God is fucking bullshit, bro. What? Yeah, the man. guy who created you, the guy who's giving you breath bullshit, right now? Bro. You, you, you think? Parents, dog. <laughs> That's how foolish this generation is. Yeah, I'm not a fool. That's how foolish this generation is. You don't even know that God has given you breath. You're a wicked devil. You're gonna you're gonna burn in hell. I'm gonna burn in hell. All you wicked kids, you think you 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 grow up thinking you can do whatever you want. You grow up thinking that you can live like a devil. But God's going to throw you in the lake of fire. You better wake up. There's a higher authority other than you. And his name is God. Amen. There's a higher authority and his name is God. God destroys people. God throws people in hell fire. Oh yeah, you've turned away from God. God said, I'll turn away from you. I see a lot of proud people in these cars. I see a lot of proud people that need Jesus Christ. But guess what? Jesus will either be your judge or your savior. Jesus will either be your judge or your savior. It's time to wake up. If you get right with God, if you get serious with God, he'll get serious with you. But if you don't wake up and quit playing games with God and quit living in sin, you're going to meet the wrath of Almighty God. And on that day, it will be too late. God will not hear your screams on that day. God will say, no, I sent you a preacher. I sent you a warning before my wrath came. But you wanted to make fun of the Bible. You wanted to make fun of the God who holds all power in his hand. This God of the universe is not any baby in a manger. This God of the universe destroys people eternally for their wicked sin. God is a just judge, and God is angry with the wicked every day. God is angry with America right now. America will be destroyed by God for its wicked, wicked sin. It's time to wake up and know the God of the Bible. The Bible says you should fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Oh, there you go. There's, there's your eternal security right there. we got a nation that doesn't know the power of God. We have a nation that doesn't know the wrath of Almighty God because you don't teach your kids what's right and what's wrong. You don't teach your kids that sodomy is an abomination to a holy God. You guys are a bunch of girly men that let your wives lead you. And that's why God's going to hold you to an account. God's going to cut down the wicked like grass. God is going to destroy you if you don't come out of sin. And that's why it's a beautiful thing that God sent his son to die for you. Do you think it's funny? that Jesus Christ died for you? Do you think it's funny that he hung on the cross and bled and died and was tortured for you? It's not funny, sinner. It's eternally not funny. And the people in hell cry and weep, wishing they had another chance to say that I'm sorry to God. The people in hell wish they had one more chance to say they were sorry to God. 
God is not playing any games with America. Coronavirus isn't nothing. God is going to send so much judgment on this land. The world has never seen the judgment coming upon America for its abominations, for its wicked sin. Do you think God is just going to let this go on forever? Do you think that God is going to let this go on forever? Do you think God is not going to judge you for your life? Oh, it's time to wake up. It's time to get right with God. You guys are going to burn in hell. You're going to burn in hell if you don't repent. If you don't get right with God, God is going to throw you in the lake of fire. You better repent and get right with God. You better turn to the Lord. Jesus Christ. The problem with America is that they don't fear God. You don't fear God because you're wicked. You guys are proud in your sin. I prayed for God's heart that God would show me his heart for this city. God is angry with Centerville, Ohio. God is angry with Dayton, Ohio. God is angry with the United States because they've spit in God's face. They spit in God's face. But God will get the last laugh. God will get the last laugh, you wicked devil. God will get the last laugh. God's going to throw you in hell if you don't repent. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you, I don't want your money. I'm here to send a warning to you from God. Come out of sin or burn in hell. Come out of sin or burn in hell. Turn to Jesus Christ. That's your only hope. Your hope is not yes. politics. Your hope is Jesus Christ. Turn to Him with all of your heart or suffer the vengeance of eternal fire. The wages of sin is death. Whether you claim to be a Christian or not, if you're in sin, you're on your way to hell. And you need a Savior to save you from your sin. You can't be saved in your sin. You have to be saved from your sin. That means a, a holy life. You won't hear that in these wicked churches. You need to open your Bible to hear that. The Bible says to be holy in all your conduct. 1 Peter 1.15. Is that a suggestion? Or is that a commandment? To be holy in all your conduct. That's a commandment. That you're called to be holy. Holiness is the order of the day. <laughs> I'm on. I feel God's spirit too. I feel his heart. Yeah. If you continue in sin, the Bible says you're just storing up wrath for the day of wrath in the righteous judgment of God. Oh, all these wicked kids, man, they never got the spanking they needed. They never got told about God's wrath. They always said God is just some happy butterfly in the sky. God is a judge. God judges people eternally. No purgatory. You have to know the God of the Bible. You have to read your Bible for yourself. He says he's going to cut down the wicked like grass. If you're in sin, you're wicked. Very few people find the straight, narrow path. Jesus said if your hand causes you to sin, cut your hand off. Because it would be better for you to go to heaven with one hand than to go to hell fire with both your hands. Jesus said, if you're in sin, you're going to burn in hell. That's what Jesus says to you. You better wake up and come to your senses. Wake up and come to your senses. Just like every nation that's turned its back on God, God's going to turn his back on you. God has already turned his back on you. Judgment is coming. Turn from your ways. And turn to the Lord Jesus. Turn from your pornography. Turn from your sex outside of marriage. Turn from your cigarettes and your alcohol. God is going to judge you. And it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be purgatory. It's not going to be purgatory. You better read your Bible. There's no purgatory in the Bible. 
When you die, you go to heaven or hell. It's time to wake up. The Bible says to awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake to righteousness and sin not. Don't you know why you're depressed? Don't you know why you're on medication? It's because you hate God. You sin against Him every day. And you think you're a Christian. You don't love God, otherwise you would obey Him. If you obeyed Him, you would love Him. If you loved Him, you would obey Him. The Bible says this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not grievous. Real Christians obey Jesus. Fake Christians do not obey Jesus. Everybody in America says, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. If you're disobeying God, you're a child of the devil. If you're disobeying God, you're on your way to hell, and it's only a matter of time. You need to yes, you are going to hell, sinner, that's right. Congratulations, you got the message. But you don't have to go there. You can turn to the Lord Jesus Christ if you love your soul. If you love your soul, you better call on the name of the Lord. You better cry out to God for mercy. Yes. I'm talking about the mercy of God. You can still find mercy with God. If you turn from your wicked ways, you can still find mercy from God. If you turn from your wicked ways, and if you live for God with all of your heart, God says, I'll forgive you. I'll let you in my kingdom if you become a real born-again Christian. You're not going to heaven in your wicked Catholic religion. You're not going to heaven being a fake Christian, living, living as a hypocrite. You're going to heaven if you repent. That means turn away from your wicked ways and turn to the Bible. Turn to the Bible, sinner. You're going to burn in the lake of fire. You think I'm out here for fun? You think this is a big joke? We'll see who's laughing on Judgment Day, sinner. We'll see who's laughing on Judgment Day when you make fun of His Word. You think I'm out here for fun? God sent me out here to warn this wicked city. God's going to destroy this city with fire. Read 2 Peter chapter 3. It's all right there. It's not a joke, man. It's the end of days. Jesus coming back soon to judge your life in righteousness. Being baptized in water cannot save you. Being baptized as a baby cannot save you. You have to live holy by the Spirit of God. That's why Jesus died for sins, to forgive you and also to give you power to come out of sin. So don't mock the gospel, you'll be eternally regretful. Jesus Christ is crying out to you, come and live, I see. I see your heart, you need me. You wanna preach? Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. It's a good Man. Lesson, brother. You got a fire in me. I know. Yeah, you wanna get the banner? I'm gonna get a drink of water real quick before I go. Bunch of proud people, man. Right. You already lost. Check. 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 <laughs> Check, check. Amen. Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. The Bible says, you've all read it. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. But unfortunately, most Christians in America close the Bible up at this one Bible verse. They don't realize that Jesus Christ is the just judge. Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. What does that mean? That means he is above all. He is above everything. He is highly exalted. The Son of God, all authority on heaven and on earth was given to him by the Father. Jesus Christ 
will judge you on that last day, sinner. No, no drunkards, thieves, covetous, idolaters, adulterers, homosexuals, or sodomites have any inheritance in the kingdom of God. That's this is what the Bible says, people. The Bible says this in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. Right here to call Centerville to repentance. Right here to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. That though you are a wretched, wicked sinner, hell, straight down the path to hellfire, there is a Savior. There is one mighty to save, and his name is Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the mighty King, the everlasting Father, the Prince of of peace the jesus christ of the bible not the jesus christ of the united states of america the jesus christ of the bible in the book of hebrews chapter one it says he jesus hates wickedness and loves righteousness did you know jesus christ hates did you know jesus christ hates sin did you know this this is what the bible says about jesus christ this is not what america says about jesus christ the American gospel will never save you. The American gospel will never pull you out of your sin. The American gospel will leave you in your sin with a powerless faith, Jesus. But my Bible says in Matthew 1, 21, Matthew 1, 28, it said, Jesus Christ, this is Gabriel, the angel came to Mary and said, you shall conceive a son and call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sin from their sin not in their sin jesus christ cleanses us from all unrighteousness as the book of first john says the book of first john says god is light and in him is no darkness at all if we say we have fellowship one with another and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth but if we walk in the light just as he is in the light then the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son, cleanses us from all sin. Yes, Jesus Christ can cleanse you from all sin. Saints of God are not sinners. Sinners go to hell. Saints go to heaven. Do not be a sinner. Sinners are marked out for destruction. The Bible says in Isaiah 1, 28, that the sinners and transgressors shall be destroyed together, and those that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. So a sinner is going to be destroyed. We're going to judge angels. We're the judges of the earth. We're going to judge angels. How is a wicked sinner going to judge the angels of God? Hey, how you doing, man? How is a sinner going to judge Good. How you angels doing? of God? I'm Jacob. What's this your name? I promise John. that you can John, have great to meet you, man. Trust yeah, you well, in brother. Jesus. And it's not yeah. just That's, a one time. Uh, it's not very loving accepting of you guys. God's not going to be very loving when he throws all these people in hell. Why? Why do do that? Because, of their, because of their sin, you have to know the Bible. <laughs> you have to look up these verses about sin. The wages of sin is death, the Bible says. So God destroys sinners in hell forever. No purgatory. So that's why. So that most people... Or either in false religion, they don't know God. God's holy. He requires a holy people. So we're just warning people before their destruction, you know, to see if they want to repent and go to heaven. So, so yeah, it's all in the Bible. If you believe the Bible, yeah, you don't believe the Bible. You have no chance of being hope, uh, helped or saved without the Bible. Well, I mean, that's, that's, I mean, I guess an opinion. Uh, it's the truth, but... I don't feel, I feel like... There's scaring no people and using religion no as, America. like a fear when are you tactic wake up? When are you man is, up? is probably not as successful as anyone that has an approach that we're almost at the end, folks. Yeah, I mean, the, well, we, 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 the we trust the Bible. The Bible says to fear God and keep His commandments, for yeah. this is the whole duty of man. So you're supposed to fear God. That's your problem. You don't fear God. You're supposed to fear... I mean, I guess when people say, like, yeah, I'm a God-fearing man, I suppose that makes sense. I mean, that means I don't sin because I fear what God's going to do to me if I do. But, like, is that... That, that seems like kind of like a messed up way 
way to live life, though. It's not, because once you repent, you live in freedom, you live in peace, you live in God's goodness. But only in sin are you the enemy of God by your by the wrath of God. The Bible says the wrath of God abides upon you because of your sin. Sure, okay. So yeah, the good news is, is that you can become a friend of God. You don't have to be an enemy of God. Well, technically, in God's eyes, or Jesus' eyes, we're all his friend and his children, so why would he send someone to hell? That's, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not true. What, what you said is not true. Because the Bible says, he who sins is of the devil, 1 John 3, 8. So those who are sinning are of the devil. Why would he build people to sin? He doesn't build them to sin. He builds them to be holy. He builds them with the capabilities. But yeah, he gives them the choice because he wants you to choose life or death. He wants you to choose... He wants you to choose heaven or hell. So that's why. So you do that through your choices. You know, people don't want to obey God, so they will try to make God out to be the bad guy. But God's trying to save them. See, when, 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 when God... There's hope for you. You don't know anything. You don't stand for anything. What you stand for is nothing. You stand for the wicked. So, yeah. You stand for the wicked. So yeah, that, that's why, be man. Rubble. Because be the Bible here. says, Nobody's though you join hand in hand, You're gonna be gone. though you join You're hand in hand, you shall not go unpunished. So even, even if the whole world said, I'm going to do it another way, God said, I'll still punish the whole world. God killed everybody except for eight people the first time. The second time, it's going to be it's just going to be a few more saved the second time than eight, but it's going to be a low number. So it's just the goodness of God that you would actually run across some real Christians that actually believe the Bible. Yeah. So you can choose to love God or you can choose to love death. <laughs> death is just a bad man. Jesus. All men have to die. Jesus all men have way. to face. Jesus all is the only yes, way. Jesus true. said in John, God bless you, John. What's your opinion on people Jesus claiming said, that Jesus was just a young man? I am the truth. I it's am it's the blasphemy. Life. Jesus is no your creator. Father, Jesus is a creator. I thought God was a creator. Uh, God, Jesus was God's son. So he is God's son, but he's also but he's also but he's also God. The Bible says there's three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one God. So Jesus is God. What Bible are you reading? The King James Bible. King James Bible? I've never heard that. Really? Can I show you? I mean, you can show me. The living God of the Bible. That's the only one. Your denomination will not save you. Your religion will not save you. It's in John 1.1. But in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. So all things were made by Jesus. Christ. Hell is the end of your life. So it just says that Jesus is God and the Word was God. I don't know, man. At the end of the day, I feel like this is an effective way. You know, considering that you know, most religion and Christianity, especially itself, is, is based around love and acceptance. Using something like this kind of drives people away. And stuff. But, but God is not love. God is loving in the sense that He wants you to be saved. But He's not loving in the sense that He's going to about to throw you in hell fire because you're wicked. Because you're evil. Well, I mean, it seems Jesus. a bit contradictory, though. No, it's not. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Once you deny his son, so, once you deny his son, you become an enemy of God. So, so, so looking at it with, with, with that pretense, um, one could say religion is basically, in, in a way, kind of how dictatorships are run. You know, you follow or you, you pay a price. Any authority, you have to follow the law. Like in America, you, if you don't follow the law, you go to jail. In God's kingdom, if you don't follow the law, you go to hell. There's people out there who, who, who live lives, they don't hurt anyone, they don't, they don't cause anything more to the world, but also they're not followers and believers. Do they go to hell or they go to hell? They go to hell. Because the Bible says that there's none good. There's none good. No, not one. So there's nobody righteous enough to go to, to go to heaven. Yeah. So nobody's not good. Nobody's good enough to go to heaven. You have to come through Jesus Christ alone.
So that's why we're that's why we're here warning you. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, hey, God bless you too. What's your name? Gary. Gary? Great name. He was just asking about why, you know, why people get thrown in the hell. He was asking about that. He had never heard that. I've heard it. My, the, thing, the thing that doesn't make sense is how, you know, you could agree that in terms of being a Christian, it's being Christ-like. Is that true or is that not? Being Christ-like, yes. That's what a Christian is. They're Christ-like. That's right. Yeah, so, so much Christ-like, but they don't actually follow the religion based off of where they were born and Christianity isn't a part of that religion. Whatever, whatever reason, it's a bit unfair that someone is being cast to hell for that. In my opinion, if they've done nothing to say or bring about anything like that, that just doesn't make sense to me. Well, well, it doesn't have to make sense. God wants God have to make sense though if you're out here preaching. Because God wants you to seek seek the Lord. Like me, I didn't. I started off. He gives you breadcrumbs. When you start seeking God, He gives you breadcrumbs, and you have to find that breadcrumb and go to the next breadcrumb. Okay, and then you go to the next breadcrumb. This is a big breadcrumb of who God is. You know, God is not just loving, but he's also a judge, isn't he? He's a judge. So we have to know God. The Bible says we, uh, God loves judgment. Why? Because it puts people on the right path. So God doesn't want to throw you in hell, but because you continue in your own wisdom, the Bible says because of that, because you continue in your own way and your own wisdom, then you will be destroyed. You have to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and in due time, He will exalt you. So yes, you you don't know anything. You're like a caveman. You know, oh, I want sex, I want drugs, I want rock and roll. Right? That's what you want. But God's saying, there's a better way. There's a better way. And I want to lead you in that, in that way. So... The friend of God is, he said, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you in John chapter 15. So we are friends of God by his grace. He gives us grace to live for him. I couldn't live for him before he helped me live for him. So he has to change you. You have a heart that wants to, it devises wickedness. It wants to do wicked. But God wants to change your heart so that you want to do what's right in his eyes. That's the miracle of God. See, if you continue in your pride, you'll be destroyed as an example. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. They were destroyed as an example to all those who would afterward live ungodly. So that's the scripture, man. The scripture is able to wash your brain. You need to be brainwashed. You need to be brainwashed. Your, wash, your brain is dirty. You need to be washed, your brain. And that's the word of God that does that. The word of God washes your brain. Yeah, man, you're welcome. But that's why we come out here because they're not going to get it probably anywhere else. Man. Man. But yeah. Hey, this, this here, this is not political. No, it's not People political. You can see that. This is, this is biblical. Yeah, this is biblical. We just got Bible verses. And, and so many people say, oh, that's just, you just because you, you know, like Democrats. Or you just, I said, dude, this has gone way beyond that. Yeah, this is spiritual. So many people are so blind. That's right. I mean, Right, you you can see it every day. Yes. I mean, you know, Friends, I'm sorry to tell you, but abortion, Jesus all the crap's Most going on. Go you know, Universal cheating, lying. Not I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Jesus says, yeah, I don't. I don't get it either. I mean, we just gotta abide in Jesus. I, and the Bible says to to do the work of the Lord. You know, abide in Jesus. That means he's giving you grace and he's helping you to serve him and to obey him, right? Yeah. But it's like parents, man. Like parents. Respect your parents. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Like this guy, this guy was, this guy that was talking there, he was so proud. He was laughing and mocking the whole time. Oh, yeah. He's, but I, I just told him, like, look, you know, you're, 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 there's a higher authority we have to answer to. Yeah. And people, this new generation, they didn't hear the truth. They don't care for one They don't thing. care. They, they don't even understand it. He, he didn't know what he was. You know. yeah. and, and he was so proud. That's why I was a little rough with him because he was so proud. He was like, uh, you're nothing, man. You're nothing. Like God's going to squash you. You know? Uh, see it. That's a sad thing. They don't, yeah. they don't want to see it either. Like, like you said, they, they're hearing the truth and they're being convicted, but they resist it. They resist the Holy Ghost. I seen him shaking. 
that was the power of God on him to convict him. <laughs> but he refused. As soon as I walked out, I thought, he needs prayer. Yeah, he does. He really does. And I, I, people that are humble, I'll bend over backwards for him. But if you come up here trying to... Uh, you try to mock and blaspheme God, I'm going to rebuke you. Because the Bible I mean, says... Now, huh? Gonna, I do now. I'm not going to take that. No, no. Without the Bible him. says God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. Mm -hmm. So he, the Bible says rebuke the wicked and a blessing will come upon him in the book of Proverbs. I, I got a... Well, he used to be a friend, But he was full-blown atheist. He did yeah. not believe in God or anything. I said, well, let me ask you one question. He said, what's that? I said, well, what do you believe in? I said, if you don't believe in God or angels or anything like that, you don't believe in heaven, what do you believe? What do you think is going to happen when you yeah. die? That's right. He goes, well, I don't really know. I said, you, you got here, you don't know how you got here. Yeah. I said, you know, the human body, man, is unreal. Oh, I know. It heals itself, it does everything. Oh, yeah. That's not just a fluke. No. You know, There's a designer for that. Yeah, yeah. It's like you Ultimate. you see that building and you don't say, well, that building disappeared there over billions of years. No, you say somebody made that building. Yeah. And somebody made somebody that made it. Amen. Yeah, exactly. I mean, That's what the, the kid that was here before him, he came up and he said, who are you to say? He was cussing at us. He said, who are you to say that homosexuality is wrong? And I said, God says it's wrong. Yeah. We're just the messengers. Yeah. He said those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. I said, you do you really think it's okay to sodomize your friend? I said, do you think that's okay? And he couldn't answer me with a straight face. And I said, you know it's wrong. You know it's wrong. And if you don't, he needs to read it. Yeah, that's what I said. I mean, he was wicked, though. He, you could tell these kids had never heard the word of God. They think it's funny, but man, one of these days they're not going to be laughing. That's what I mean. It's the lake of fire. It's going to be too late. Yeah. You know? So it's it's that sad. That's why we're out here. Jesus had to go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is, uh, and is baptized will be saved, and he who does not believe will be damned. So your faith, faith without works is dead. Your faith has to be a saving faith that causes you to live the life that God's called you to live. And... Uh, and that's where, you know, you have to be dedicated to the Lord. You have to stay in your Bible. You have to stay keeping a good prayer life. Yep. I started back to church a couple months ago because I, I saw it. Was going, you know, I, I've seen this. This has been going on for three years. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But I never learned how bad it was. Yes. Amen. I mean, I well, don't know how you feel about truth, but I got one question I would love to ask you. Yeah, please. Did you know the swamp was that big? Swamp? All the swamp? The swamp. Did you really yeah. know it was that big? I, mean, I didn't know, no. I, I know that it was when 2015 happened and Obama let that in. Yeah. I was like... Take away That's, you know, so what? even take no matter who you believe in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter, you we'll know, if you, if you hate Trump, I mean, I don't like, sometimes I don't like his attitude. But it, he believes in God, he believes in church, yeah. you know, I mean. Believes in free speech. You know, I mean, that means something to me. Yeah. I don't know about you, you know. Oh, big time, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, vote, we're voting for Trump, but the reason why we don't. We'll say anything about that is because we want to reach the Biden people too. We well, want to we, say it's it's, yeah. it's not political anymore. Yeah, that's right. You know. Yeah, it's not. Uh, so, do you have a, a good God fear in church? Do you have a good God fear in church? Yeah, a friend of mine. I met him. I was working. I got laid off. I was working for a buddy of mine on the side. Okay. And he had a preacher working there. I mean, yeah. he got to be a pretty good friend. And I got talking to him. I've always, my heart's always been there. It just, I quit going for a long time, and I knew I needed to do something about it. Because I used to say, you don't have to go to church to be a Christian. But you know what? It makes a difference, man. When you're around your type, it, it gives you strength. Oh, yeah. You know, and it, yeah. It, it, I had to eat those words. Yeah. So you be so, holy and yeah, all I'm, I'm back. Amen. I mean, Amen. this year, I, there's no way 
I mean, hey, okay, common sense. You just sit back and look. Common sense. It's right before Only long. I mean, how yeah. do you know? Yeah. That's right. Only and uh, uh, like I said, uh, yes, you can, America's being brainwashed yes, by can. the by you the wicked television. Yeah. Oh yeah. Media's. And and all these shows. That's where it came in. They they fell in love with uh, homosexuals on the TV. So that's why they love homosexuality. Because they think they're being righteous by letting this garbage in because they're deceived. So I want you to check us out. We're, we're Dayton Street Preachers. Uh, we have a street ministry. We have street church every week. Really? Yeah. Right. Downtown Dayton, right downtown, in a park underneath the big tent. Yeah. At River Skate Park. Have you ever have you ever heard of that? Oh yeah, I used to live in Dayton. I live in okay. Yeah. And we have a YouTube page. You can check us out. We do them apart from Jesus. Here I am. I'm I'm Pastor Jacob. That's who I am. But but we're also an evan I'm also an evangelist. This we're Dayton Street Preachers. And you can find us on Dayton Street Preachers on YouTube. Here's the webpage. Okay, cool. And uh, like I said, we're really involved because we believe, yeah. you know. You did. I was going to ask you if there yeah. was any way I could do it. Amen. So we're, we're, we, we don't do any denomination. I, I was saved in jail five years ago reading the Bible. I heard God's voice audibly, and I started following the Lord. You know, I started reading my Bible. I was out here. Like I said, I um, the Lord just wanted me to to be an evangelist, you know, and, he, and we couldn't find anybody that would want to be associated with evangelism like this because it's too too I don't know, not man pleasing. <laughs> I so tell you, you guys have given me strength tonight. Huh? You guys have given me strength tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, let me pray with you before you go. Okay. And just play, I'll just pray that God would uh, direct direct your steps. You know, after this guy, let this guy go real quick. Amen. That's it's the Bible. You gotta read the Bible, believe it, and obey it. And then God will give you the Holy Spirit. Look up, look up these Bible verses. Yeah. Oh yeah, real good. Yeah, God's a, God's a judge, and He's angry with the wicked every day. Psalm seven eleven. So, turn to Christ, man. So yeah, I'll pray for, pray with you here in a second. So it's just about God. Is that all it is, or, or oh, how political is it? It's not political at all. God God wants to save all men. He don't care about your if, what you believe as far as politics. He wants you to believe in His Bible. Yeah. Eternity awaits. Judgment day is coming quickly. Jesus is coming back. Well, shit, man. Trump was determined in the Bible. Did you see that or no? He was, a, well, he was in the Bible. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not saying anything political. I'm saying Jesus commands all men everywhere to repent because he's going to judge your life. Yeah. You, you not only have to stop doing the wrong things like cussing, you have to start asking God for the Holy Spirit, start reading your Bible, start praying every day, because without holiness, the Bible the Bible says, "Without holiness, no man shall see God." So God gives real Christians power to live holy. That's that's the whole point of Christianity. He died for you. He died for you not only to be set free and forgiven, but to be set free from sin. If you stay in sin, you'll go to hell. If you come out of sin and get born again, you'll go to heaven. All right. All right. Well, man, I appreciate it. Just come out here and hey, see what this is all about. Yeah, what, what's your name, man? Cody. What's Cody? What's your name? Yeah, Jacob. Jacob? All right. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jacob. This is, that's a, definitely a Christian name here. Hey, man. The Lord's name. That's right. I got saved in jail five years ago. I used to be a drug dealer. Really? Yeah. I, oh, I'm not kidding you. Oh, nope. yeah, yeah. All right. Well. God sanctified me. He changed me. But it was through reading that Bible every day and asking him to change me and show me the right ways. Did you hear the words of him or did he speak to you or no? Yeah, he spoke to me in jail. He told me to fight. One yeah. word, fight. Out loud. I heard it like I'm speaking to you now. Fight. Yeah. That's awesome. Because I was going to kill myself. Really? Yeah, you're down to that point. I was down and out in jail. Yeah, so, Lord will save you, man. I've heard, I've heard stories. So. That's right. He's real, man, and he's coming back to judge. So the Bible says to prepare to meet thy God. So we're out here giving hope to the city, to those who are humble, telling them the truth. Hey, God ain't, God ain't some 
baby. He's coming back to slay the wicked, the Bible says. Just read the Bible. I mean, I, I personally never read it, but... Yeah. Well, that's why there's fake Christians everywhere. You gotta... I'm not, I'm not even... I don't even consider myself a Christian, but... Okay. I mean, I believe, I mean, I believe there's a higher presence, but... All right. You know, well, get to, know the, get to know the God of the Bible. Ask him to reveal himself to you and start reading that Bible. You'll be blown away. You'll be like, you'll be able to tell that 99% of American Christians aren't even Christians yeah. if you read the Bible. Really? They say they are. Sound like a Christian to me. Hey, obey God. Obey him. Follow him. Ask him to reveal himself to you. Tell him you want to be changed so that you can serve him. He'll do it. Seek him with all your heart. All right. Hey, man. For sure, man. All right, Jacob. Yeah. We'll Court. Was it Corey? Cody. Cody. All right, man. All right. We'll see you yeah. more fist bump. Yeah, man. Jacob over here. Yeah, let me give you a gospel track, man. All right. Check out these Bible verses. Most people don't even know this is in the Bible. But Jesus, Jesus is coming back to judge the world in righteousness. So, yeah. This is the end of days, man, if you can't tell. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's It's really the end bad. of days, man. That's why it's so wicked. We got Bill Gates out here fucking oh, trying to control. Oh, yeah, he's funding everything. All the world health. He's just cruising in. New Genesis, 100%. All right, Jacob, I'm out here. All right. Yeah. To the, party. Here we go. the Bible has got all the answers in it. People don't read it. That's why they don't know God. All right? Sure. All right. Well, I'll, I'll definitely check out these quotes. All right, man. Yeah, check them out, man. See if they have any meaning. Read, read the King James Bible or the New King James Bible. All these other ones, throw them in the garbage. Gotcha. All right. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, he was cool. See, those are the guys I come out for. And he and he hits the guys. He hits the guys in the cars. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. I, huh? It makes a difference. I hear the words. Yeah. Out there. Yeah, you never know if, if they're mad at you or they're blessing you. <laughs> uh, I'd say if they're blowing horns, unless they're, you can use their tail on somebody's back. Hey Amen. Let me pray for you. Hey Amen. Yes, Father God, I thank you for Gary, Lord. I thank you for his heart to come back to you, Lord, that you didn't uh, leave him without wisdom, God, but that you you pricked his heart. You let him know that the end is near. I pray that you'd keep him, Lord, in the fear of God. Keep him, Lord, in a good God-fearing church. I pray that he would stay in his Bible. I pray that you would can just fill him with your spirit, Lord. Give him a fresh touch of your anointing, God. I pray if there's any sin in his life, he would turn away from it immediately. Tonight, God, he would cry out to you and he would live that straight and narrow path that few people find. I pray that he would live a holy life by your spirit, God, that he would pray when he wakes up. He would read his Bible when he wakes up, God, every day. And uh, he would seek you morning, uh, noon, and night, Lord. He would just seek your face before you return, Lord. I pray that you would just give him uh, fellowship with the saints, help him to find a good God-fearing church that preaches the full gospel, your whole Bible, Lord. And I pray that you would just keep your hand of protection on him, that he might dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I pray that uh, he would keep his mind stayed on you, that he would stay in perfect peace. You, you said if I would keep my mind on the word, that I might not sin against the Lord. So I pray that he would keep his mind on your word and on the things that are soon to come. And that we can um, maybe even have fellowship on this side of heaven. I thank you for his uh, encouragement tonight, God. And I pray that you just bless him abundantly. Bless him in, in, in his family life, Lord. Bless his relationships, his kids, if he has kids, Lord. Uh, just help him to be the example of what you're looking for in this hour, God. And people be able to see the change in his life and his obedience to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey man, God bless you. God bless you, bro. Yeah. You got you got my information, so if you I definitely check it out. Yeah. We'll do it again. Yeah, good. God bless you. God bless you. With a weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth and the one dies not. Jesus. Jesus said hell fire. Hey man. Jesus talked about hell. Jesus preached about hell more than heaven. Yes. He's a hellfire preacher because he warned his people. Yes. He brought them warning because God is not willing that any man should perish, <coughs> but that all should come to repentance. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whenever you're ready, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not. I'm not hurrying you. I'm gonna maybe like two minutes, kind of calm it down, close. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Keep that throat. Uh, God bless you. Uh, lubricated, huh? Yes, God is not willing that any man should perish, 
That's why he gave his son. That's why he sent his son to die. You know, God doesn't take it lightly when people abuse the grace. God doesn't take it lightly when people trample under, under this, trample the Son of God underfoot and spit in his face and call the blood by which he was sanctified a common thing. God doesn't take this lightly. That's his son. That's his only begotten son. Do we abuse him? There may be one among you. There may be two among you, three of them. It doesn't matter, God, for never return, boy. We pray that somebody repents tonight. We pray that there's no more big straddlers. There's no more lukewarm Christians because God's going to vomit them out of his mouth. Revelation 3.16. Jesus said in Revelation 3.19. He said, Revelation <coughs> 19, it says, As many as I love, I chase it and rebuke. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Jesus Christ's message to the churches in the book of Revelation was repent, 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 or else, or else, or else. It's time Amen. To repent, Centerville. That's right. It's time to go home, go home to your secret place. Go in your bedroom, close the door. Go on your knees and cry out to God. Cry out for His mercy. Yes. I offer him to spare you and your family, to save you, to give you the Holy Ghost, to lead your family as a godly man, to lead your family as a man of God, to teach your wife, to teach you, raise up your children as godly seeds. Do this. Do this and you will be blessed. Do this and you'll be blessed. The commandments of God are to bless you. The commandments of Jesus are only to bless you. It's not to hinder you. Jesus said, or the book of 1 John says, Hereby we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. They're not burdensome because they're for our benefit. Being holy, living holy, is high class living. Living free from sin is freedom. Yes. There is no freedom in sin. Yes. Jesus said, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Whoever is a, is a, is a slave to sin, whoever is a, a sinner is a slave to sin, and a, sinner, and a slave does not abide in the house, but a son abides forever. So be set free by Jesus. Be set free. Read the Bible. Repent of your sins. Repent of your pride, Senator. God bless you all. Be safe. Amen. 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 God bless you. <laughs> yeah, God bless you. It's a good, good conversation. Yeah, good work. Oh, yeah, great. Met a guy named Gary. Uh, he's... He said that he would be in contact. He's going to check us out on Dayton Street Preachers and stuff. Amen. But, uh... You know, you never know. He might be coming out the street church. Amen. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, Amen. Good word, yeah, brother. Good. Good word. Good, good word. Good word. It was good. That was good preaching. Yes. Amen. Oh, man. Amen. Get a little scratch on your throat. Yeah, <laughs> Amen. Can't help. <clears throat> raise my voice even with the boy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, glory to God. Yeah, that one guy in that Jeep, you rebuked him hard. He just sat. <laughs> he didn't say anything. He was like, he cussed. He was cur cursing at you. Was he? Dropped that bomb at you, and you like walked right up. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he was like cowering. Yeah. Oh yeah. He wasn't expecting you to, to do that. He's, I know he wasn't. He was I guess to just do a drive by insult and get away. With it. <laughs> you didn't let him get away with it. He was stuck right there. He was stuck. He could go. I, I light up their whole yeah. light up their whole jeep. Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. That'll make a good video. <laughs> you got first. You got point of view too. First person right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, praise God. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll start out the video with that. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, start out that. Be like, man, serious preach. <laughs> it's nice, nice to meet some Christians with some backbone, huh? Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and move and then we'll take a walk somewhere else. Yeah. 
I don't like leaving my car unattended around where I just preached at, you know. Right. Not everybody loves us. <laughs> that was a big preach. Man, there's a lot of pride. Yeah, man. That's good. I was like, I'm going to preach uh, <laughs> soft tonight, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's soft. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Good, mm. I can feel the spirit, definitely. Oh man. Power. Yeah. Power. He showed up, didn't he? Oh man, yes he did. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Yeah man, you gotta be crazy to come up against God. <laughs> yeah. These people are foolish, man. Foolish. They're like cockroaches, man. God's just gonna squash them. Yeah. yeah. What does it say? The the blood of the grapes. Yeah. Throw just the wine press, the wrath of God. <clears throat> man. Yeah. He's gonna thoroughly. That's the only thing you can do is try to knowing the terror of the Lord, try to persuade men. You know. Try to convince them, you know. We know it's coming, but they're like they're like drunken idiots, you know, stumbling off a cliff. Right. No fear, of God. 